Okay, good morning. It's America's Teacher, and today I'm talk, continuing our unit on Congress. And today I want to talk to you about bicameral versus unicameral. Okay, the founders set up a system of bicameral, meaning two houses in the legislature. So last time we talked about the three branches, executive, legislative, judicial. Legislative makes the laws, executive carries out the laws, judicial says or, or frees or interprets the law. Okay, so when we go into the House and the Senate, we're going to the legislative or lawmaking branch. Now, let me, I've got a little diagram to help you here. I took the U.S. Capitol. So this is my U.S. Capitol building. And then I'm showing it divided into two chambers. And by the way, if you go to visit our Capitol, and I'll put a, one of the um, videos in this unit, I'll put a picture up of the U.S. Capitol, the actual Capitol, and it sits on the mall, and I'll explain the mall and everything to you. But for now, this will be our Capitol, built at the founding of our country, and it has two chambers that can seat people, obviously, like an auditorium or a gymnasium or whatever. But this is like a theater, and the Senate holds 100 or so people. This chamber holds four or five hundred. It's probably been retrofitted over the years. Today it has 435 in the House, 100 in the Senate. Now why do we do that? We do it because of um, original controversy that I'll talk to you about on next video between the uh, Virginia plan and the Ju New Jersey plan because when the founders were talking about representation, they had to decide, okay, how many representatives, because we send people, the idea is the voters vote, they send somebody back to Washington, that person passed, represents them in the lawmaking process. So what does the House and the Senate do? Make law. 